Hi, beautiful people. You're welcome back to Prudy's Kitchen. Today, we're making butter rolls filled with jam and cream cheese. If you're new to my kitchen, you're welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. So let's get into the video. For this recipe, we need 700 grams of flour, all-purpose flour, some mustard seeds. You could use sesame seeds if you want, it's okay. 60 ml of vegetable oil, 10 grams of fresh yeast. You could use the dry one, it's okay. 30 grams of room temperature butter, 200 ml of warm milk, three tablespoons of sugar, um, 100 ml of warm water, two eggs, and um, half a teaspoon of salt. So, we're going to start by separating the eggs because for the rolls, we're going to be needing one egg and one egg white, okay? And then the one egg yolk that's going to um, come out from it, we are going to use it later to egg wash the rolls, okay? So for now, in, in the rolls, we'll be needing one egg and one egg, one whole egg and one egg white. As always, the list of ingredients and the exact measurements are listed in the description box below okay so right now we are going to put apart i've put apart the egg yolk that we are not needing and in a bowl right now i put in my one egg and one egg white the sugar the yeast the vegetable oil and then I mixed it, okay? I'm gonna mix it to combine very well with a spatula. It's not like I'm gonna um, make it smooth, but just to um, dissolve the yeast a little bit. So after a minute or so of mixing, the yeast has um, completely dissolved. I added my warm milk and water. You have to make sure that the um, milk and the water uh, is uh, a bit warm, not hot, because being hot is gonna kill the yeast, okay? So next, I'll start adding my flour slowly okay um we're gonna add about 700 grams here okay but we're gonna i'm adding it slowly because i need a soft dough not a strong dough not a firm dough so there's not just and you have to depends on your flour okay so you have to add it slowly until you get that um uh texture of dough that you need okay which is exactly what i'm doing right here When the dough started forming, I transferred it to my work surface, floured it, of course, and continued kneading, okay, until all the flour and everything was um, completely incorporated. Then I put my butter in it. You can see, as you can see, I did not add my butter initially, okay, because the butter has to be added later. So I spread it around the dough and continued mixing it. As you can see now, the butter is all over the place, but it's okay. After six to seven minutes of kneading, it, um, it dissolved completely into the dough, and we have this smooth, soft, elastic piece of work, okay? So that's what we're looking for. It's, it has to be soft, and when you stretch it out, it doesn't break, okay? So right now, into a bowl, I added, um, let's say, about a tablespoon of vegetable oil, and um, put my dough into it, you know, smoothened it a bit, uh, rubbed it around it a bit, and covered it with a cling film. So I'm going to set it right now to rise in um, a warm place for between one and a half to two hours because right here it's cold now, okay? So if it, it depends on where you are, it could be warmer, so it's going to rise faster, okay? So mine took um, about one and a half hours to rise. So right now I deflated it oiled my work surface and um, put it on it. So it's time to divide it and to form our rows. My aim right now is to divide this dough into 12 equal parts. So first I divided into four equal parts and then each one I divided into three, which gave me 12 equal parts. Next, I'll try to smoothen them out so that when I roll it, it doesn't um, have a rough surface. So that's exactly what I'm doing right here. Uh -huh. 
I'm done smoothing my dough right now. So let's talk about the filling. So right here, I have some apricot jam and some cream cheese, some Philadelphia cream cheese. And here is um, some room temperature butter. So I'm using apricot jam here, but you could use any taste of jam that you like, okay? And any kind of cheese you like. I mean, uh, I've used some ricotta cheese for this and it came out very nice so right here i'm using philadelphia cheese so you could use any kind of cheese and any kind of um, jam that you feel for this okay so now i'll go ahead and um, roll out the dough each of the balls i'll roll it out you know like um an inch thick or half an inch thick okay then i spread some of that butter on half of it okay not all just half of half of the do as you can see next i'm going to put some of my filling right at the edge at the edge where there is no border okay then i spread it a bit you know end to end and then with a pizza cutter i give the the um side where I have the butter slits okay so I'm gonna cut it you could use a pizza cutter or even a knife it's okay but just try not to cut it to the end of the dough because it's gonna make the dough split okay then I rolled over um, where the filling is sealed it with my fingers so that the filling doesn't gush out when it hits the heat and then rolled over the cut part okay so and that's it that's it. It's, it's that easy. So Next, I transferred it to a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Okay. You're going to want to space these out. Okay. Because I did um, six per tray. So I have two trays here because my rows were 12 each. So let me go over this again. First, I rolled out my dough. I, de I then um, spread some butter, some room temperature butter over half of it. And then at the end where there's no butter, I put some jam on it, my, some filling on it, which right here is the jam. And then with my pizza cutter, I cut the end where there is the butter. And then I rolled over where there's the filling. Okay. And then seal the edges with my fingers and next rolled over rolled it over where I cut, okay? Rolled over the cut part and transferred it to the baking tray. And that's it. So I'll go ahead right now and um, finish the rest of it and I'll see you then. I'm done rolling, so I'm going to cover them right now with a kitchen towel each and leave them in a warm place to rise for 40 minutes, okay? Then here is 40 minutes later, we have to egg wash them right now and bake. Here's the egg yolk that we set aside before. I'll add one tablespoon of whole milk into it and one whole egg. So in total, for the egg wash, we, we need one whole egg and one egg yolk with one tablespoon of whole milk. Next, I'll brush it all over my rolls and um, put some spread some mustard seeds over it okay i'm using mustard seeds right here like i said before but you could use some um, sesame seeds brown black anything you want as seeds over it they're all good okay so here are my mustard seeds i spread some on it and after that i'm gonna put it to bake at 160 degrees celsius or centigrade for 25 to 30 minutes or until it's completely golden brown okay you're gonna have to let it brown because it's makes it you know flaky crunchy it's so good so here is 25 minutes later my rolls are out of the oven and the aroma oh <laughs> it's so good really i'm just gonna break it apart for you guys to see that jam feeling in that butter croissant in that butter roll it's really good Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of this. Thank you so much. Thank mm. you so much for being here. See you next time. Bye.